Hey, look, it's another update. Wow. I'm busy, finally, getting stuff done. Uh, this is the E.H. Scott SLR-12B radio receiving equipment. Uh, let's see, can I turn this thing on to that now? Radio receiving equipment, E.H. Scott Laboratories Incorporated. Uh, this thing is a World War II Navy uh, receiver. It was called a morale radio. They used to put these on uh, the Navy ships to tune in broadcast for the troops. Uh, it's the SLR means Scott Low Radiation. It's all shielded. It's the uh, you know big shield plates here. The transformers are all you know plugged. And heavy duty piece of equipment here. Power transformer, filter choke. What is this? Another filter choke. Output transformer dual output tubes. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a cool blue glow down there. Six V6s. Rectifier tube. The whole bit. But, most importantly, it works. Listen to this. That's um, CFZM740 out of Toronto, Ontario. Um, I just got this thing work. It, actually, it basically worked. Uh, cleaned some connections, um, and it was fully operational, much to my amazement. Uh, they built these things like brick shit houses, and I, I tell you one thing: it it shows. It weighs 70 pounds, and uh, <laughs> you know you definitely know it when you move it. But uh, AM shortwave band. sorts of weird stuff on here. I don't know what all that is. Shortwave 2. Doesn't receive much up here. But there you have it. World War II era radio receiver in basically all original condition. I had to replace this filter can. It was working, but it was getting hot. I don't know if you can see that crust of crap there, it's coming out of it. It's starting to ooze. It would have blown up. Uh, I put a modern capacitor in. And uh, other than that, rock and roll. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.